one of the earliest cricket memories I can give um, was when I was about seven or eight years old. The one day my dad showed home, he, he stopped off at the cricket store and he had brought, brought home a couple of cricket balls. And we, we were really excited. We put, our, we put our new pads on that we had just got for our birthday, um, our new gloves, and we went out into the net in our back, backyard. And I mean, we hadn't, we hadn't got a helmet yet. So my dad was still a bit, bit hesitant on, should we do it? Should we go out there? We're like, dad, come on, please. We want to go hit some, hit some balls with these new cricket balls that you've just bought. And we went out and what happened? My brother got hit in the head and oh my word, that was drama. We ended up having to take him to the hospital because we didn't know what happened. There was a huge mark on his head. Luckily, um, we're all good and he's all good. Um, but yeah, I mean, from that moment on, I've definitely uh, been the cleverer out of the two brothers. I'm pretty sure it was that hit on his head that um, might have impacted his his thinking a bit. But nah, jokes aside, I think that's that's probably one of the m most not memorable, but I mean, it's one of my first memories that I've had. Um, definitely playing cricket. Like idol that I would look up to in cricket is probably Alex Carey, just because of his wicket keeping. I just love the way, um, like he goes about the game, the way he bats, his free flowing nature, and then also his keeping. I just I think he's got the best technique in world cricket, and I just love watching him keep. Like I can sit all day and just watch a stream of Alex Carey keeping because I just find that really interesting. Um, like eight years old, I, I started going to a private coach in South Africa um, by the name of Jody Martins. And I still speak to Jody Martins to this day. Um, he, he's gone from throwing balls to me from for 10 years to now becoming my mental coach um, over the past few years. Jody, um, like, yeah, Jody has been so good to me throughout my career. He's He's, he, 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 when, when I look for a coach, you look for someone that you want to trust and you have trust in what they are telling you. And whatever Jody tells me, I have full trust in what he's saying. And I think that's what, what you got to look for in a coach. Um, so yeah, I still speak to Jody to this day. I, if, if I'm struggling with something, even if something's going well, I just hop on a call with Jody and tell him what's going well, because I think that's, that's good about our relationship is we, we not only speak to each other um, when things are going bad, but we're also able to talk about things when things are going well. South Africa, um, although it's such an amazing country, the opportunities to see, to get a job opportunity really isn't as good as what you're going to find in the US. So. That was the first thing that my parents wanted was they wanted us and they wanted our children to one day be brought up in a country where they had the opportunity to go out and do whatever they want and have the opportunity to go to a good school, a good, good university or a good college. And um, that, that opportunity that you would not get in South Africa. So it was a, it was, it was definitely a long process and definitely a hard one for my parents because they knew how much Matt and I loved cricket and they knew um, that taking us from South Africa might take kill that dream that Matt and I have and that was really hard for them and you could see that it um, it, was, it was hard for them to, to make that move and it was hard for us because we were leaving behind our friends that we had been with at school for 11 years. Um, leaving behind all our family. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we we um, trusted trusted God a lot through this process and we we had a lot of faith in God that that his plan for us was even better than what we could have thought of. Mm -hmm.